and I don't drive him. This was that um, tester that I, you know, displayed the other day. So this tester, he can charge and also test lithium ion and lithium ion phosphate. So you can also charge uh, lithium, uh, nickel cadmium uh, cells, okay? So if you look at this and then the other one, this is lithocala, the one that I use, uh, I use for lithium ion. You see that this one is definitely um, bigger, okay? It's larger, but this one now, when you compare it to lithocala, you see that this one only uses this type C input. So you can take five volts and then nine volts, you can see that. Okay, so I presume that if we are using nine volts, it will be faster. That's what I thought about, but that's by the way. So now you can see these are 21700 cells. 21700. You can see how small they look here. But if you wanted to put it in, it took only about three could only fit in. The fourth one may not and it's only the first and second one that once it fits in you know it has a good balance so now one other thing that this has and tokala has is also that they can charge independently independently meaning that this one can be charging on its own this one can charge on its own and the rest also then the difference between this and this tokala is like litokala each though you know it's 12 volt input though uh -huh. each slot you can select up to one amp for each slot but here you can only select up to one amp i think this and then this last one these two they are five, 500 milliampere is the highest you can do so you can do 250 uh, mah then for this uh, two for all 250 or 500 or 1000 there is no 750 like this one like this little color so now and little color can test you can test uh, in at any slots you can be testing here testing here here and here that is the four slot but this one you can only test on this fourth one you cannot test on these ones okay so that when you want to buy you consider these things so what they need to buy is that it could test uh, you can test 3.2 volts which are my for switch sets that was why i bought this okay so this is uh for the slots once you press it it changes you can see this is for number two this is number two it was charging with nine, uh, 500 million power from from this value we have here i already know and the time you can see this that the time come here it corresponds with this time if you divide this by two you should have four point something and i say that this cell the capacity is around this i know who does not know may not <laughs> if you have no experience you may not know sure what i can see the cell is still very very strong so let's go to slot three then this is slot four for lithium ion phosphate. So I tested it. The original capacity of this cell, or you can see, you have fourteen point seven water. If you divide it by three point, you have four point five. So about this, we have four point four. So the cell is still very much okay. You can see four four six four, and you can see the uh, now. These hours you have here is that when I put this, put in this cell, I charged it and I now left it for some time. The voltage dropped a bit. Then once it enter test mode, it had to charge the cell back up again and then discharge and then charge again. So that was why it took uh, so long. Then this uh, this thing that you see here, it shows that you are running a test. These three icons here shows that you are running a test. And then you can also change the cell type of which I'm really trying to to grasp how to do that you can see it took me a longer time because it was my first time using this tool I actually changed this one to little man for sweet they claimed it could detect it automatically but once I started this it was charging it as if it was little my until I knew how to sorry sorry that was the miss they said that little man for sweet must be selected yes that was what they said so I had to select it and then 
to put it in test mode you have to press on these two buttons assuming you are number four now you have to press these two buttons so that the you could you know bring different you can see that test is blinking this is now discharge this discharge now you can see test you can see discharge this discharge now is to just run the battery down just discharge it without charging it back up that is the, the work of that discharge okay so that is it so thank you very much for watching if you have any question you can ask me thank you